The now off-menu standard range Model Y is slowly disappearing for good. Many Model S and X refresh sightings, including one with a yoke steering wheel, are giving more info on what we can expect with these new cars, and many Cybertrucks are making their way out into the wild. Thanks for tuning in today, and let's check it out. The saga of the Model Y lineup continued this week. A couple days after all the price changes last week, the standard range Model Y disappeared from the website configurator. At the time, it was unclear what was going on. Why would Tesla discontinue the standard range Model Y after introducing it less than two months ago and then recently reducing its price? Well, shortly after it disappeared from Tesla's website, Elon gave some clarity to this on Twitter saying, quote, It is still available off menu, but I don't think its range in many drive conditions yet meets the Tesla standard of excellence. A few days after this tweet by Elon, Inside EVs posted an update to this situation, telling the story of one order holder who wanted to push the delivery of their standard range Model Y out by a month, since they were currently in a lease that had not yet ended. A sales rep at the Tesla Tampa Sales Center responded to this request by saying they could push it off a few days, but that they would soon put the car into inventory and sell it if this order holder didn't pick it up soon. Inside EVs went on to say that the sales rep further indicated that Tesla was not manufacturing any more standard range Model Ys, and that he was aware of the rumors around the internet that you could still order a standard range Model Y off menu, but that those rumors were not true. He said that Tesla Tampa had not received any information from Tesla Corporate regarding how to build slash order a standard range Model Y, and there was no way for him to do that currently. The rep did say that this could change in the future, but it was just not possible today. This update essentially means that once all standard range Model Ys in Tesla's inventory are sold, the standard range Model Y will be gone for good, and there are not many of them left. EVCPO.com says that at the time of me recording this video, there are 233 standard range Model Ys available in Tesla's inventory. So, if you are dead set on this model, you better act fast and order one now. This situation is much different than when Tesla moved the famous $35,000 Model 3 off menu. At that time, you could still get a $35,000 standard range Model 3 built to order. It just required that you ordered a standard range plus Model 3 on the Tesla website, and then called a Tesla sales rep to downgrade your order to be a standard range. Removing the standard range Model Y from the Tesla website prompted many tweets at Elon asking if this meant that the long range rear wheel drive Model Y was coming soon, to which Elon replied, quote, we have too much product complexity already. Now, although this seems like a no in regards to if the long range rear wheel drive Model Y is coming, this really is not a direct case closed answer. Despite this response from Elon, I personally think that something else is coming for the Model Y, whether it is a standard range plus variant or a long range rear wheel drive variant. I discussed my theories on this in my last video, which you can watch by clicking up here. We will just have to see how this situation plays out, but I hope it will end with the introduction of the long awaited long range rear wheel drive Model Y. Next up today, we have lots of new Model S and X refresh sightings, giving us some new info on what we can expect in these updated cars. In this video here, posted by at ICSI Chris on Twitter, we see the refreshed Model S at the Fremont factory. We get our first glimpse of the second row screen, as well as a good look at the UI of the main screen and the new steering wheel controls. Notice how the controls on the steering wheel light up when the car is on, and how there is thankfully a matte finish over these controls, unlike on a previous Model S refresh sighting that had piano black material here. We also have our first sighting of the yoke steering wheel, thanks to the kilowatts on Twitter. This is rather shocking, as all previous sightings of the refreshed Model S have shown a circular steering wheel, and this makes sense since the NHTSA has yet to report that the yoke steering wheel is indeed legal to have on a production car in the United States. After a circular steering wheel was found in an image hidden in the source code of Tesla's website, many have speculated that the circular wheel would either be an option for the new Model S and X, or that Tesla would ship the refreshed Model S and X with a circular wheel until the NHTSA confirms that the yoke is actually legal. With this sighting of the new yoke steering wheel, maybe this is a hint that the yoke has been approved by the NHTSA and the report has just not gone public yet. In any case, I personally hope that customers will be able to choose between the circular or the yoke steering wheel, as it is obviously a polarizing option. And if you are paying over $80,000 for a vehicle, I think you should be able to have the kind of steering wheel that you want. Elon has confirmed in an email to employees that there is renewed demand for the SNX due to the new refresh, and that they will need to go back to two shifts in order to keep up with all the new orders. Hopefully we will see some deliveries of the refreshed Model S and X any day now, as Elon originally promised Model S deliveries would start in February, with Model X following shortly after. 
Tesla's website currently shows a delivery timeline of 4 to 11 weeks for the Model S Long Range and Plaid and May through June for the Model X. Finally today, we have some mini Cybertrucks showing up out in the wild. Both Franz von Holzhausen, Tesla's chief designer, and Javier Verdura, Tesla's director of product design, have taken to Twitter to showcase their 1 to 10 scale remote control Cybertrucks made by Hot Wheels. Franz posted this photo of the Cybertruck with his Model 3 in the background, and Javier posted this video showing the RC Cybertruck drifting over some gravel. Although I wouldn't spend $400 on it, I have to admit that this 1 to 10 scale model does look pretty awesome. There have also been many videos posted to the internet recently of the mini 1 to 64 scale Cybertruck that Hot Wheels is also making, as these have started being delivered to those who pre-ordered them over a year ago. Target stores around the country have also been sporadically getting them in stock. These look pretty fun as well, so I might just have to go pick one up for 20 bucks if my local Target gets them in stock anytime soon. And that's all for today's video. Are you going to pick up one of the Hot Wheels Cyber Trucks? And what do you think about the standard range Model Y slowly disappearing? Or the new Model S and X refresh, now that we have some real life pictures of the new interior, including the yoke steering wheel? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this in the near future. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch today, and I will see you back here in the next video.